My name is Alex. And today, I wanted to share my journey of learning English. I know how difficult it can be to learn a new language. So I hope that sharing my experience will inspire and motivate other learners. I first started studying English in school when I was about 10 years old. In the beginning, it was really challenging to pronounce the words correctly and understand basic grammar. My speaking and listening skills were almost non-existent. I spent a lot of time doing exercises to memorize vocabulary such as colors, numbers, and greetings. While it was boring at times, practicing those fundamental words really helped build my confidence. In high school, I joined the English club to gain more practice in speaking. I was initially very nervous to speak, but my teachers created a warm and welcoming environment where it was acceptable to make mistakes. With their encouragement, I started engaging in simple conversations with my classmates about topics such as movies, sports, and music. My speaking greatly improved from having regular opportunities to use English. For university, I decided to study abroad in America for a full immersion experience. Living in another country pushed me far beyond my comfort zone as an English learner. I had to use it every single day just to perform basic tasks like ordering food or asking for directions. It was challenging, but I learned so much during that year about fluency and cultural understanding. These days, I use English daily in my job as a programmer, where I regularly communicate with international colleagues. I still learn new words and nuances of the language all the time. My journey hasn't ended, language learning is lifelong. But I'm proud of how far I've come from those early days of just repeating textbook dialogues. If you're struggling right now, don't get discouraged. Be patient and continue to challenge yourself step by step. It may take time, but moving outside of your comfort zone truly accelerates progress. I hope that sharing my story will inspire you on your language journey as well. Interesting vocabulary and expressions. Before we start our speaking practice, let's review some vocabulary words from our story to improve our English skills. Journey is a noun that refers to a long process of progress and development over time towards achieving something. For example, I hope that by sharing my journey of learning English, I can inspire other learners in their own language journeys. Stages is a noun that refers to distinct steps or periods that are part of a process. For example, to achieve fluency, I went through various stages of progress, starting from being a beginner and eventually reaching an advanced level. Fluency is a noun that means the ability to communicate effortlessly and easily in a language, both in speaking and writing. For example, my goal was to achieve fluency so that I could use English confidently in academic and professional settings. Motivate is a verb that means to provide motivation or encouragement that inspires action or effort. For example, hearing about Alex's experience really motivated me to try studying abroad as a way to rapidly enhance my skills. Challenging is an adjective used to describe something that requires significant mental or physical effort to accomplish because of its difficulty or complexity. For example, the first few months of learning English were very challenging as I struggled to understand even simple conversations. Regularly is an adverb that means frequently, habitually, or repeatedly. For example, I regularly participated in an English club to improve my speaking skills. Now it's time to practice. Repeat after Alex. My name is Alex. My name is Alex. And today, I wanted to share my journey of learning English.
And today, I wanted to share my journey of learning English. I know how difficult it can be to learn a new language. I know how difficult it can be to learn a new language. So I hope that sharing my experience will inspire and motivate other learners. So I hope that sharing my experience will inspire and motivate other learners. I first started studying English in school when I was about 10 years old. I first started studying English in school when I was about 10 years old. In the beginning, it was really challenging to pronounce the words correctly. In the beginning, it was really challenging to pronounce the words correctly. My speaking and listening skills were almost non-existent. My speaking and listening skills were almost non-existent. I joined the English club to gain more practice in speaking. I joined the English club to gain more practice in speaking. I started engaging in simple conversations with my classmates. I started engaging in simple conversations with my classmates. For university, I decided to study abroad in America. For university, I decided to study abroad in America. These days, I use English daily in my job as a programmer. These days, I use English daily in my job as a programmer. 